What if you woke up tomorrow to a completely changed world order where the royalty and nobility you knew no longer held power? Picture it for a moment. The grand palaces and opulent courts replaced by the cries of liberty, equality and fraternity. A world turned upside down where the common man becomes the architect of his own destiny. Quite the thought, isn't it? A seemingly impossible scenario, yet that's exactly what happened during the French Revolution. The French Revolution didn't just happen overnight. It was a result of years of discontent, inequality and financial crisis. Now, we must travel back in time to understand the origin of this monumental event. Picture this, France in the late 18th century. The country was deeply divided into three social classes or estates. The first and second estates, comprising the clergy and the nobility, were enjoying privileges, while the third estate, the commoners, were bearing the brunt of heavy taxes. This disparity was the breeding ground for widespread discontent among the masses. But the seeds of revolution were sown not just by social inequality alone. There was also a severe financial crisis looming over France. The country's involvement in costly wars and the extravagant lifestyle of the monarchy had drained the national treasury. Attempts to reform the financial system were met with resistance from the privileged estates, further deepening the crisis. The king, Louis XVI, was forced to call a meeting of the Estates General in 1789, a representative assembly that hadn't been summoned for over a century. Now, this was a pivotal moment. The third estate, representing the majority of the population, demanded a fair voting system. When their pleas were ignored, they took the bold step of breaking away and forming the National Assembly, asserting their rights and challenging the monarchy's absolute rule. Meanwhile, the common people of France were feeling the pinch of economic hardship. Bread prices had skyrocketed due to poor harvests, and the frustration was palpable. The privileged classes, on the other hand, seemed blissfully unaware of the struggle of the common folk, further fanning the flames of discontent. From the smoldering embers of inequality, financial crisis and widespread discontent emerged the spark that would ignite the French Revolution. It was a call to arms, a cry for liberty, equality and fraternity. The stage was set for a revolution, a revolution that would forever change the course of history. Imagine the uproar when on July 14, 1789, a mob decided to storm the Bastille, a symbol of the monarchy's absolute and arbitrary power. In the heart of Paris stood the Bastille, a fortress turned prison that had come to represent the tyranny of Louis XVI's reign. Its towering walls and imposing structure were a constant reminder to the Parisians of the monarchy's iron grip over them. But on this fateful day, the people of Paris decided they'd had enough. A sea of people, armed with little more than their determination and a burning desire for freedom, descended upon the Bastille. The guards, outnumbered and overwhelmed, could do little to resist the onslaught. The crowd was relentless, fueled by years of oppression and a newfound sense of unity. They fought not just to free the handful of prisoners within the Bastille, but to strike a blow against the very symbol the fortress represented. The storming of the Bastille was more than just a daring attack. It was a powerful statement. It marked the end of the old regime and the beginning of a new era. The common people, long suppressed under the weight of the monarchy, had risen against their oppressors. They had tasted victory and it was sweet. In the aftermath of the storming, the Bastille was dismantled brick by brick by the jubilant crowd. Each stone they removed was a symbol of their triumph over tyranny, a testament to their collective might. This event sent shockwaves through France and beyond, setting the stage for the French Revolution. The fall of the Bastille was the spark that ignited the flame of revolution, a flame that would soon engulf the whole of France. It was a pivotal moment, a turning point that marked the end of absolute monarchy and the beginning of a new, more democratic era. The Bastille had fallen and with it, the old order started to crumble. The people had spoken and their voices echoed across the nation, heralding the dawn of a new era, an era of liberty, equality and fraternity. The revolution took a bloody turn with the reign of terror, a period marked by mass executions of enemies of the revolution. As the French Revolution evolved, it was increasingly consumed by radicalism. This led to the establishment of the Committee of Public Safety in April 1793. 
a body that was to maintain the revolutionary fervor and manage the internal and external threats to the Republic. The committee was initially composed of nine members, but it was soon dominated by one man, Maximilien Robespierre. Robespierre, a lawyer and politician, was an influential figure in the French Revolution and the Reign of Terror. He was known for his fervent belief in the Republic and his insistence on the virtue of the citizens. He argued that those who opposed the revolution were enemies of the people and should be eliminated for the good of the Republic. The guillotine became the symbol of the reign of terror. Named after Dr. Joseph Ignace Guillotin, who proposed its use, the guillotine was seen as a humane and democratic method of execution. It was used to execute thousands of people, including King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette. The reign of terror was a time of great violence and fear. Thousands were executed for their perceived opposition to the revolution. The streets of Paris were filled with the sounds of the guillotine and the fear of being named an enemy of the revolution was pervasive. But as the death toll rose, so did opposition to Robespierre. His former allies began to turn against him, fearing they might be next on the guillotine. This culminated in the Thermidorian reaction when Robespierre himself was arrested and executed in July 1794, effectively bringing an end to the reign of terror. The reign of terror ended with the fall of Robespierre, but the revolution was far from over. The ideals of the revolution, liberty, equality, fraternity, were still to be fully realized and a new chapter was about to unfold in the history of France. Out of the chaos of the revolution, a new leader emerged. Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon was a military genius, a master strategist whose audacious spirit and relentless ambition propelled him from the artillery ranks to the pinnacle of French power. Born in Corsica, just a year after it became French territory, Napoleon displayed exceptional military acumen early on. Following a series of triumphs on the battlefield, including the famous siege of Toulon, he found himself propelled to the forefront of French politics. His charisma, coupled with the promise of stability, resonated with a nation weary from years of upheaval. In the year 1800, Napoleon, then First Consul of France, orchestrated a coup within a coup, declaring himself Consul for life. But his ambitions didn't stop there. Four years later, in a grand ceremony at Notre Dame Cathedral, Napoleon took the imperial crown from the Pope's hands and placed it on his own head, declaring himself Emperor of the French. As emperor, Napoleon initiated a series of reforms that forever changed the face of France. He instated the Napoleonic Code, a legal framework that still forms the basis of many civil law systems worldwide. He centralized the administration, stabilized the French economy, and established a merit-based education system. But his rule was not without its controversies. His expansionist ambitions led France into a series of wars known as the Napoleonic Wars. These wars, fought against various European coalitions, reshaped the continent's political landscape. Napoleon's reign, marked by military triumph and territorial expansion, was also marred by defeats, most notably the disastrous Russian campaign. Yet, despite the controversies, Napoleon's impact on France and Europe remains undeniable. His leadership brought about a sense of national identity among the French people, a sentiment previously fragmented by regional loyalties. With Napoleon, the French Revolution effectively ended, giving way to a new era in French history, an era marked by the rise of a powerful centralized state, the echoes of which can still be heard in the corridors of French power today. The French Revolution was a period of radical political and societal change in France. The revolution is not simply an event in history, it's a seismic shift that shook the very foundations of monarchy, leading to the birth of a republic. This upheaval wasn't confined to France but rippled across the globe, igniting the spark of democracy and people's power. The storming of the Bastille, a symbol of royal tyranny, marked the advent of the revolution. This act of defiance by the common people set a precedent for future revolutions, showcasing the strength of unity. The reign of terror, while brutal and bloody, was a reflection of the chaos and uncertainty that often accompanies change. It served as a stark reminder that the road to freedom is paved with trials and tribulations. Then, the rise of Napoleon, a charismatic and strategic leader, showcased how power could be harnessed for the greater good.
His leadership, while autocratic, brought stability and reform, establishing France as a dominant power. In essence, the French Revolution was a tumultuous journey from oppression to liberation, from monarchy to republic. It's a story of resilience, courage, and the indomitable spirit of the human race. The French Revolution, a testament to the power of the people, forever changed the landscape of political power worldwide. It serves as a reminder that no matter how dark the night, the dawn of a new era is always on the horizon. Now that you've journeyed through the tumultuous times of the French Revolution with us, imagine the countless other historical events waiting to be uncovered. We're just scratching the surface here. If you found this journey enlightening, there's more where that came from. By subscribing to our channel, sharing our content and hitting that like button, you're not just supporting us, you're also fueling your own quest for knowledge. So don't hold back. Join us in exploring more such fascinating events in history. Subscribe, share and like our channel. Together, we can ignite the curiosity within us.